Hey everybody. So we have a map uh, app running in the simulator, as you can see here. The next step that we want to take is learn learning to add our location to the map. Now, this is actually a separate process than what we've been doing for the map, because this is actually handled by a different library within iOS. This library is called Core Location, and it allows uh, the developer, like you or me, to access different elements of the user's location based on the sensors that are in the device. So as you know, this has uh, GPS in it. It also uses uh, a whole bunch of different information to try to figure out the user's location for the purpose of using it within an app. It also has a compass. It has lots of stuff built into it. And so core location is the one we're going to try to use. So uh, I have put together some instructions that you can use to add this functionality to your app. And we're going to take a look at adding each of those pieces uh, to our app so that you also can get location working. So let's get to work. Let's make it happen. So the first thing that uh, we're going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the map view. Mapview.swift, this is where we did a lot of our work of setting up our map. And this is also where we are going to add in the functions for core location. So uh, from our document here, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import core location and create a variable to store the location within the app. And so you can see what that looks like here. Uh, I'm just going to do it directly like so. So I will go to Xcode and I'm going to import core location. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a variable for the uh, location. And so I'm just going to do var current location and I'm going to set it equal to a CLL location because this is just going to be a location somewhere on the globe where we are located. Okay, next thing in our instructions. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a variable inside the map view that will be uh, the manager for this location information coming from the phone. So there needs to be a, a, a piece of code that's responsible for updating, um, updating the app whenever there's in, more information about the location. So uh, we're going to make this a private variable, and we're going to call it location manager. So we'll go here, and I will make a private variable called location manager, and I'm going to set that equal to a CLL location manager, like so. Okay, next thing. Uh, this is sort of preparing for having the user's location in our app. We want to make it so that our map view actually shows the user's location. So I'm going to scroll down to this part where uh, we can see uh, we're setting properties for our map, and we're going to set the map view dot shows user, user location property to be true. So going back to Xcode, scroll down here, map view dot show shows user location. We're going to make that true. And so that's going to make a nice little flashing dot on the map. The next thing, and this is this is important to just know that this is what iOS does. Uh, we want to ask permission to have uh, access to the user's location. And so uh, we're going to request from this location manager permission. So we're going to request that when this app is in use to be authorized to get the location. And if the phone's if the phone is given permission to do this, or if the app is given permission to do this, um, and that's this line right here, if location services are enabled, we're going to make the, uh, the code responsible for managing the location of the, uh, the, the user's phone. We're going to store that within this thing called the context coordinator. Um, We'll talk about this a little bit in class, but the idea is we need to know which part of the app is responsible for managing that information about the location. 
We're going to set the accuracy of our location manager to be as good as possible. One thing that you can actually do is you can uh, make it so that it just uses the general location, kind of a, a less uh, precise accuracy for the location. And the last thing it's going to do is it's going to ask the location manager to start checking for changes to the phone's location. And so this is an event um, that causes code to run. If the location changes, that's going to cause some code to run that we're about to put in. Okay, so you can just take all of this code and paste it into the space just below the location list. So we're going to do that. So do this right here. Okay, uh, and it's giving us giving a, giving us an error, and that's because we haven't done something that we'll do in just a minute. Uh, it's saying that mapview.coordinator right now has not been asked to have this responsibility, um, and so that's going to come down here. We're gonna we're gonna do this in a subsequent step, but essentially you have to ask, you have to tell. Uh, certain parts of the code that you're going to give it a certain responsibility before you actually do it. So this is complaining about that. Uh, next thing, there is a function that we need to run whenever the uh, location is updated. So we're going to add this code right here. This is just a function. And all it does is it says that if uh, the location is updated, we're going to set that variable that we created called current location equal to the location of the manager. So the manager is gonna deliver location information and uh, it's gonna store it in this variable here. And we wanna set that current location variable equal to the location, which just means that when the phone gets new information about the location of the phone, we're going to store that information in the variable. So we can copy this in and paste it uh, right here. There we go. Next, a lot going on here. And this is the step that I was talking about before. We have to tell this coordinator part of the code that it's going to be responsible for managing information about the phone's location within the app. And so we go to coordinator, which is here, and we're just gonna type in CLL location manager delegate. Be sure to use the autocomplete when possible because it makes it much easier to uh, not get any typos in your code. So we paste that in and we can see that that error that was here before is gone. Pretty slick. All right. Um, there's one last thing that we need to do and that is there is this file inside our uh, project called info.plist. And this is actually a list of information, a, a property list about our app and what, is, what it is going to uh, be asking for, what its, what its expectations are on the phone. Um, so for example, uh, you have things like, uh, what do you need the device to do? What do, you need, what do you need the device to be able to do in order to run? Um, this is all, it's saying, uh, what operating system are you expecting for this app? Is there a minimum? So this is basically where you tell the phone whether, uh, um, what information it's going to be needing. We need to add a row to this. And um, this one actually has to do with privacy. We're going to be asking for... Um, permission to use the location when this app is being used. So that's right here, privacy, location when in use, usage description. And what we need to do is give a message that says, that tells the user, hey, this is why the app needs your location. So uh, this app is going to display your location on the map. So just put that in as a string. Okay. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to quit this app on this virtual, um, virtual iPhone, delete the app, delete. Okay, and there's a reason I'm doing this because I want to make sure that we get a message in just a moment. So 
Uh, let's run it in the simulator. Okay, so that worked pretty quickly. Now notice, here is that message that I put in there asking for permission to display location on the map. I guess I didn't need quote marks on there. Uh, and this is the phone asking permission to use that location information. You, and, and you have a few options as the user. Uh, the iPhone will let you use a general location, an unprecise location if you want. Um, in this particular case where you might be asking for permission to use the location, um, we, we have this here. So you also are giving, giving the user permission to choose when it's going to be using this information. So I'm going to allow while using the app and uh, I've now given that permission. And so that's what the P list does. Now, uh, let's scroll down to something that is nearby. Let's say we go to Crescent Mall and you can see now that this is using the location. It's showing the location with this sort of pulsating blue dot. And so that's how we know that this app is now correctly using our location. And so uh, we can use this to do a bunch of different things. Um, we'll talk about what those things are moving forward. So that's what I'm looking for you to do. Uh, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.